Hey, so, so, can you be with a narc and find your real self? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. The narc, <clears throat> the narc came along to make you stand on some boundaries. Okay? That's not the only reason they came along, but obviously some things that you haven't recognized within yourself, some things that you haven't incorporated in your day-to-day, -day, that's what they're there to help you do. Otherwise, you're going to be destroyed. Okay? As empaths, we tend to not want to tell anybody no. We tend to make everybody problems, our problems. We tend to do those things. That's what the narc is there to do. The narc is there to make us to realize, look, you have been too nice. And the more and the nicer you are to me, the more I'm going to run over you. The more I'm going to abuse you. The more I'm going to manipulate you. The answer is yes. And I know the answer is yes for a fact because that's when I found out my real self and who I really was was when I was with that narc. I got tired of enabling that narc. I got tired of standing up, standing to the side and shutting up just for peace sake. A lot of us that deal with them as empaths, we have little to no boundaries. So they do whatever they want to do. And they come back whenever they want to come back. They just pretty much run their game whenever they want to. And they just pick us up like we're objects on the shelf and put us down when they're done. And we allow them to do that because we're trying to do what? See the good within them. It's all about how much you're going to tolerate, how much you're going to deal with. It's all about what you're, what you're going to tolerate, what you're going to deal with. If you're going to tolerate anything, then you need an art. You deserve to have an art. And I'm going to say this too. I'm going to say this and I'm just, I am just got to be real. A lot of you guys that's asking a lot of these questions, I'm not saying that you're not interested in healing, but when you're not receptive to the information and really just trying to genuinely figure out and find out what's going on or what you've been facing, and you just sit around and justify what the narc does and make excuses. You're not meant to be saved. The Most High is here to collect souls. Satan, the devil himself, is here to collect souls. We have a God, the upper world, a God of the underworld. They're both here for the same purpose. So if you're going to stand around and justify what that person does to you, and you know what they're doing is wrong, but all you have is justification, you always look at them to change and not for yourself to change. That's what the narc is there for, to make you realize who you are. They're there so you can realize that, hey, I've been slipping in this department. I need to tighten up. I'm not trying to be destroyed. I'm not going to let anybody take my peace and my happiness. I'm not anybody. I'm not going to let anybody take the peace and happiness and, 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 um, to deter the relationships that I worked so hard to build over the years, be it with family or friends. So when I see people that's just justifying their behavior and just telling me everything that they've done, the narc did this to them, the narc did that to them, I'm going to go no, no contact for this amount of time. That's somebody that's saying, oh, I want to be destroyed. Because I can read all the posts and statuses and get all the knowledge that I can out of this group. All of the knowledge that I can from, from YouTube with all these other coaches. But I still want to have my cake and eat it too. And you dancing with the devil. It's nothing sweet. It's not going to be sweet like cake. It's going to be bitter. It's going to be bitter. It's going to be salty. It's going to be everything you don't even want. You ain't got a taste for but you need to be destroyed because everybody is not going to make it out. I would want everybody to, but everybody's not. That's just the the truth in the, of the matter. Everybody's not chosen. But yes, the answer is yes. A lot of us come to realize who we really are and how to stand on what it is that we believe, what it is that we perceive after we meet that narc. And we realize that what they're doing are manipulation tactics all out 
I mean, it's no way to sugarcoat this. It is what it is. Everybody's not meant to make it out. I'm not going to talk to everybody like they're meant to make it out. Because I know who I know who wants to make it out and I know who doesn't. If you've been in the group now for a year and I still see you on there saying that the narc did this, the narc did that, but you have no solutions for anything that they do and you haven't caught on to anything, it means you don't want to catch on to it. You're not trying to catch on to it. You're looking for somebody to put you in some type of comfort zone and to comfort you and pat you on the back. All right, and say it's going to be okay. Right? No. I'm going to tell you what's going to be okay. You start living for you. Start waking up to truth. They're not shit. They're not going to be shit. It's not going to change. Even if they go to somebody else, they're still not going to be shit. They're not going to be shit. And a lot of people don't even look at them like we do. Like... We may look at them like they're the best thing on the earth. And we look at them like, you know, they're the best thing that ever happened. A lot of people don't look at them like that. They mess up one or two times with most people. The average person, they gone. That's it. But yeah, we're there holding on. Once you realize that you playing a game and you know how to play it and you realize what the real intent of and the motive is and it's just simply to destroy you and everything that you stand for and everything that you built, then the better off you're going to be. But the purpose of the NARC coming, you were too nice. You were too forgiving. You were too giving. I mean, you were just like an angel here. And somebody came along that was the complete opposite. And they had to balance out. Now you don't want to tell anybody no. Now you don't want to commute to, communicate to them that something makes you feel uncomfortable. That you don't want to talk about something. You have to stand on those things. You can't let anyone bully you into some things that you don't want to do. So, like, like I said, the answer is yes. That's a part of the narc's purpose. It's a spiritual awakening. It's a spiritual awakening for a reason, all right? Um, narcs say they love me on YouTube. Narcs say they love me on Ariel's platform, on Carol Warner in the group. Love y'all, and I always leave you with peace, love, light, and power. Please like, subscribe, comment, because that's what help, helps a lot of people on the, on the uh, videos that can't vocalize, that don't feel comfortable with vocalizing what they've been through. So most of all, just comment. Let me know your experience. And, and yeah, let's live. Let's share the knowledge. Let's grow together. Peace, love, life, power. Pow. Love you.